Hey YouTube, in my video on RTDs, I briefly talked about using four wire resistance measurement. In this video, I'm going to go a little more into depth as to how and why you can use four wire resistance measurement. Normally to measure resistance, I'd set my multimeter to ohms and attach the leads to the target resistor. The multimeter applies a voltage to the leads and then measures how much current passes through them. The amount of current is determined by the resistance of the target resistor. However, when the value of the target resistor is very small, you will also have to take into account the resistance of the leads, as both the leads and the target resistor will determine how much current flows through the circuit. In order to eliminate problems like lead resistance, four wire measurement can be used. On the left side of the circuit, there is a source of power, an ammeter, a current limiting resistor, and in the center, the target resistor. On the right side of the circuit, there is a voltmeter which measures the voltage drop across the target resistor. When the power is turned on, current passes from the power supply through the ammeter, through the current limiting resistor, and through the target resistor. Voltage is dropped through both the current limiting resistor and the target resistor, but we do not know the value of the voltage drop in the current limiting resistor because there is no voltmeter across that part of the circuit we only know the voltage drop across the target resistor. With the ammeter in series with the target resistor and the power supply, we know that the current passing through the ammeter is the same as the current passing through the target resistor. Using this current value and the voltage drop, which is measured by the voltmeter, we can then determine the resistance of the target resistor. The voltage of the power supply and the voltage drop across the current limiting resistor aren't needed to calculate the resistance of the target resistor. Their values can be anything reasonable provided that it doesn't cause the target resistor to overheat. My four wire resistance measurement setup is powered by the PC power supply on the left. Current passes from the power supply through the ammeter which is set to milliamps. It then passes through a current limiting resistor, the target resistor, and back to the power supply. The two extra leads on the target resistor go to the oscilloscope, which is set to 5 millivolts per division. Turning on the power supply, we measure 65.3 milliamps and 25 millivolts. By using the full scale of the oscilloscope, we can get a more accurate reading. If you're using two multimeters, try to pick voltage and current measurement settings that use the full scale of the device in order to get the highest accuracy. The target resistor was marked as being 0 0.4 ohms with a 3% tolerance. This means it could be anywhere between 0 0.388 and 0 0.41 ohms. Calculating the resistance from our measured values, we find it to be 0 0.382 ohms. This is slightly lower than the labeling would lead you to believe. Measuring the target resistor using the multimeter and then subtracting the resistance of the leads would have led us to believe that this resistor was in spec. This is the main advantage of using four wire resistance measurement for measuring small value resistors. I hope you found this video interesting and if you'd like to see more like this, check out my channel. Thanks for watching.